اهلا بكم ماي توك توداي ويل بي اباوت ذا اكيوت كولستايتس اكيوت كولستايتس ريفيرز تو ذا اكيوت انفلاميشن اوف ذا جول بلادر ات از ذا برايمري كومبليكيشن اوف جول بلادر ستونز اند ذا موست كومون كوز اوف اكيوت بين ان ذا رايت ابر كوادرانت كلينيكال بريزنتيشن يوجوالي ذا ريسك كونستنت right upper quadrant abdominal pain that can radiate to the right shoulder. Acute cholecystitis is two types. Acute calcular cholecystitis due to gallbladder stones represent about 95% and acute acalculus cholecystitis which refers to the development of cholecystitis in a gallbladder without gallstones and represent about 5% of the cases affecting usually the severely ill patients. Pathology of acute cholecystitis, the development of acute calculus cholecystitis follows a sequence of events. Number one, gallstone obstruction of the gallbladder neck or cystic duct. Number two, inflammation from chemical injury of the mucosa by the bile salts. Number three, reactive production of mucus leading to increased intraluminal pressure and distension of the gallbladder. Number four, increased luminal distension, restricting the blood flow to the gallbladder wall. Number five, increasing wall thickness from edema and inflammatory changes. Number six, secondary bacterial infection in about 66% of the cases. Radiographic features of uh, acute cholecystitis ultrasound is the preferred initial modality in the investigation of right upper quadrant abdominal pain. It is more sensitive than HIDA scan and CT scan in the diagnosis of acute cholecystitis and more readily available. The ultrasound features of acute cholecystitis, six ultrasound features. The most sensitive two ultrasound findings in acute calcular cholecystitis are gallbladder stones and positive probe morphous sign i mean positive probe tenderness when you scan the region of the gallbladder in the right upper quadrant followed by wall thickening more than three millimeter and pericholcystic fluid and followed by less specific findings include gallbladder distension and biliary sludge so these are the six features of acute calcular cholecystitis. Starting with the appearance of normal gallbladder seen as peer-like equilucent clear fluid content structure as you see with thin wall less than 3 mm thickness, eco-free cavity I mean containing nothing inside its lumen. These are some examples for acute calcular cholecystitis. This is ultrasound of the gallbladder, inflamed gallbladder, showing large intraluminal stone reflecting marked posterior acoustic shadow, billiard sludge filling the lumen of the gallbladder, and the marked thickening of the wall. Another example, gallbladder filled with billiard sludge containing multiple intraluminal stones, two stones small in the region of the fundus and the one largest stone in the region of the neck reflecting posterior acoustic shadow as well as edematous and thickening wall of the gallbladder. Another example, this is marked thickened wall of the gallbladder with thin rim of pericolocystic fluid collection as well as large stone seen in the region of the neck reflecting marked posterior acoustic shadow also with some intraluminal biliary sludge. Another example, marked thickened wall also thin rim of pericolor cystic fluid collection, largest stone also seen in the region of the neck of the gallbladder. So these are examples for acute calcular cholecystitis. Examples for a calculus cholecystitis, as you see in this image, marked thickened edematous wall of the gallbladder, but eco-free cavity, no stones seen inside. Another example, marked thickened edematous wall of the gallbladder, also there is no any stone could be appreciated inside the lumen of the gallbladder. Complications of acute cholecystitis. Usually four complications. Gangrenous cholecystitis, emphysematous cholecystitis, gallbladder perforation, and pericholecystic abscess. Starting with gangrenous cholecystitis. Gangrenous cholecystitis is a rare and severe complication of acute cholecystitis. 
The characteristic ultrasound features include intraluminal membrane. This is very important. If you appreciate any intraluminal membrane like what you see here, it is a gangrenous cholecystitis until proven otherwise. So we have intraluminal membrane over distension of the gallbladder as well as here also we have multiple calcular shadows reflecting marked posterior acoustic shadow. Another example also for gangrenous cholecystitis, as you see, there is intraluminal membrane and some intraluminal biliary sludge. The emphysematous cholecystitis is a rare form of acute cholecystitis. It is surgically emergent condition due to a risk of gallbladder, perforation, and gangrene. The pathology usually due to vascular compromise of the cystic artery, as you see in this case, this is a case of emphysematous cholecystitis by ultrasound. We have dirty shell or reverberation artifacts reflected from the anterior wall of the gallbladder, as you see here, and also we have some intraluminal stones. Another example also of emphysematous cholecystitis by ultrasound, some gas shadows coming from the wall of the gallbladder in the form of dirty shadow or reverberation artifact, as you see. Plain X-ray abdomen also can detect emphysematous cholecystitis in the form of circular gas pattern in the area of the gallbladder, as you see in this image, and also in this image. But CT is considered the most sensitive and specific imaging modality for the diagnosis of emphysematous cholecystitis, as you see in this image, and in this image, and also in this image. So these are three images for emphysematous cholecystitis in the form of gas seen in the wall of the gallbladder, as you see. The third complication is gallbladder perforation, as you see in this ultrasound image here, we have defect in the fundus of the gallbladder, as you see. The last complication of acute cholecystitis is pericholecystic abscess formation. As you see in this CT image, which is often considered superior to ultrasound in diagnosis, as you see in this image, which show it perforation of the fundus of the gallbladder with pericholecystic abscess formation, as you see here. So this is uh, everything related to the acute cholecystitis and its complications. Thank you very much.